Hi, this is Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another in the series of Stamping Through the Alphabet. Today is letter D, and we're going to talk about divided pages um, for these page protectors. And this is such an easy way of scrapbooking, and I'm going to encourage you, even if you've never scrapbooked, to just think about doing this. So I have just a couple sample pages here that I'm using the Season of Style Designal Journaling tags. So I just want to show how easy it is. In this journaling tags, you get all kinds of different things you can use on your page. And by the way, if this isn't your thing, this would be a great thing to get for one of your kids would be a good age for doing this. Have them document your Christmas as a try. You know, there's something about writing down the stories that goes way beyond the pictures. So I'm just going to share a couple of pages here. Here I have one about our meal, and I, I use the My Favorite, and I put My Favorite Christmas Tradition. Our kids plan and prepare the meal. It started with spaghetti sauce from a can when they were little, and just look at where we are now. We have these really fabulous feasts, and we just sit in the living room and listen to them talk in the kitchen, which is very fun. And so now here's a four-page one. This is another of the little things. I just do little air arrows. Mary went missing from the manger set, so we improvised. This is, was Mary for this year. And of course, she did show up when we were packing everything away. And then down here, just remember, someday angry birds will be just a memory. <laughs> and here, at 88 and 93 years of age, we are very fortunate to have both of our mothers still here and with us for the holidays. And then it just goes on, so I'm not going to continue, but just I want you to notice the different sizes of journaling pieces and the different sizes of pictures to put in. So now how easy would that be to work with? And often I'll suggest to somebody, let's say you're doing a big album for the year for the family, so when it's Christmas you could start with one full page and do a, um, a cover page with a large picture or something and then fill in with these brief things and then do another cover page say for camping or whatever and so I wanted to mention that in the digital downloads that Stampin Up has there are several wonderful sets worth doing for these so a couple of my favorites are um, there's one right now that's called uh, Chillin' Out Pocket Cards, and I love it. It'd be great for doing any summer scrapbooking. There's the Old School September Kit, which has some great back-to-school things, and another Outdoor Exploration Kit. So think of the things you've done this summer and how fun to organize them and just tell little stories and make it quick and easy so you don't have to do a lot of other work with it. And then we do have an album right now that fits this, and it's stripes, but you can do all kinds of things. To me, that doesn't look like Christmas at all. It would work for anything. And so this is my encouragement to you to figure out what you would do to just make some fun family albums. And the one last comment I wanted to just mention is, you know, now with everything being online, so often we don't even print pictures, and there's just something really nice about having pictures printed, having something in your hands to actually see and show things. I know my mother says that all the time. She hardly gets pictures anymore because we just look at them online. So we try to make a point of doing that. But how fun to have something like this on your coffee table to talk about memories. So give it a try this year. And again, thanks for watching. And that's my letter D for those divided page protectors. Karen Titus.